Well, how do that chums to I, Captain of Steve's, and what am I going to be putting on my TV today and doing a movie review of People in the Viewerverse? Well, it's a movie called Damsel, and it's over on Netflix. Now, it's got Billy Bobby Brown inside of this um, sort of... Uh, anyway, the trailer's on the TV right there. You can see the trailer. Yeah. Now, I don't know who this film is for, because there's too much gore in it, for it to be below a PG-13, to be fair. But then the actual script and the way that it's written, it's like the Chronicles of Narnia. It, it, it's really, really downplayed. It would be suit if they took all the gore out of this, like the birds being on fire and all sorts of other stuff, and, and people being burnt alive by the dragon. I'm fairly sure this would have been quite a good movie for kids of all ages, all the way up to being a teen, you know? But because they've put quite a lot of gore in it, and a lot of death scenes, and, and things that are a little bit more adult-themed, it crosses over in... I mean, look, there, there's all the birds. They're actually birds on fire, and they're flapping around, ah, I'm on fire! Yeah, not very nice, as you can see there. That one's burnt to frickin' cinders in her hands. Now... There's some weird little plot sort of things in this as well, where you're thinking, oh, come on already, you know, this, really, seriously, the dragon hasn't worked this out by now, you know, with women being thrown into the pit every freaking couple of months. How many kids did they think they have? And these kids, look, you can clearly see that they're very diverse in their sort of makeup. There's been a Chinese one, there's been a black one, there's been a white one, another white one, an Hispanic one, and now this one, you'd think... The dragon be like, hold on, genetics don't seem to be adding up here. I mean, there's a time where the dragon actually flies out of the cave and is flying around by the castle and having a little gander, trying to find out where she's freaking gone. You'd think she would just check up on these complete gits, wouldn't you, from time to time? Because the whole premise of this movie is people are being thrown in to be sacrificed to this dragon because the dragon's children were slain by some knights and a king of this family, the royal family. And now it wants revenge. You killed three of my babies, I want three of your babies dead. You know? Every so often. I don't know. It just feels completely off kilter. There's quite a lot of weirdness about this movie. I mean, if you just sit there and watch it and don't think about it, fine. It's kind of entertaining to a degree. But at the same time, who is the audience for this? Because it definitely wasn't me. I mean, it had Ray Charles in this. And he's got, what? four lines or something, I held up three fingers, but it, it's it's just not that great. If I had to rate this, I would be scoring this a 6 out of 10, people. I would say it's a PG-13. If you've got some sort of teen kids, they might like it. Might is a very strong might there. I was not a fan. It was okay, it was watchable, but it's not memorable. It's not something I'll be watching again. There you go, people. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again.